Hi, I'm Linda Gabriel, a Senior Environmental Officer with the Ministry of the Environment and Climate Change. My role as an Environmental Officer is to ensure compliance with Ontario's environmental laws. There are a number of reasons why you might be visited by an Environmental Officer. This could include responding to complaints or spills to the environment, or conducting site inspections. The Ministry can conduct a site visit at any time. Today I'll walk you through a typical inspection at a winery. We'll take a close look at the wastewater and sewage works on site. This video will show what happens during an inspection, what will be examined, and what records and information will be reviewed. Good morning, I'm Linda Gabriel with the Ministry of the Environment and I'd like to talk to someone that deals with your sewage works on site. I'm not sure who that would be. That would be Scott Jones. If I uh, get you to hang on a sure. minute, I will go get Great. it. Great, thank you. Hi, I'm Scott. Hi Scott, I'm Linda Gabriel with Hi. the Ministry of the Environment and Climate Change. Um, I'm here today to do an inspection of the sewage works on site. Now, this facility has an approval through the ministry for your sewage works, so I'm just going to go through it and make sure you're in compliance. Great. Let's get okay. started. All right. Yeah, we'll probably look first of all at the retail area. So if you want to show me in the right direction where we can start, that would be great. Perfect. This is our north patio. Okay, so this would hold how many people? 60 people. All right. We have a second patio to the east side of the building. Okay, and your retail area here as well. And our retail. Okay, so this is, you know, part and parcel of your sewage flow capacity. Okay. Under the Ontario Water Resources Act, sewage includes drainage, stormwater, and commercial and industrial wastes as specified in the regulations. Sewage works is defined as any works for the collection, transmission, treatment, and disposal of sewage or any part of such works, but does not include plumbing to which the Building Code Act applies. Sewage design capacity of a sewage works is the flow rate that a treatment unit such as a septic tank or septic bed is capable of effectively processing. To determine the sewage design capacity for a site, you need to look at all sources of sewage and wastewater on that one lot or parcel of land. In determining sewage design capacity, these areas need to be considered and will be looked at during a ministry inspection. Retail area, the total square footage of the floor area, the number of employees, the number of washrooms in the retail area, food preparation area, whether you cater events or not, restaurant, the total seating capacity, Office area, the number of employees and washrooms in that area. Production area, the number of employees and washrooms and showers in that area. Residences on site, worker facilities on site, winery wastewater production based on annual wine production, and any other sewage or wastewater sources on site. If the total sewage design capacity for the lot or parcel of land is less than 10,000 litres per day, then a permit is required for the sewage works as outlined in the Ontario Building Code. All inquiries regarding obtaining this permit should be made to your local or regional municipality. If the total sewage design capacity for the sewage works is greater than 10,000 litres of wastewater per day from all sources on the parcel of land, you need an environmental compliance approval from the Ministry of the Environment and Climate Change. Contact your local ministry office for more information. Now let's move over to the production area. All right, so the crush area here, we've got a couple drains. Yes. Now you've got a, a filter cloth on top there for the solids. That's correct. So any liquids, if it escapes, it is going through and this is going to? Uh, the holding tank. The holding tank, which is all your winery wastewater is going to that holding tank. Yes. Okay. The roof is over top of rainwater slopes, so underneath the roof where the spills could happen or wastewater is, yeah. the slopes work towards the drains. Right. Outside the, uh, the roof, the slopes work away from the area, right. so rainwater, for instance, stays out of the system. Any, any spill or anything on the ground inside is in, going to here, yes. into the holding tank, an effluent tank, and then outside is, is rainwater, so okay. That's great. 
Good, let's go in and look at production. In the production area, winery wastewater includes wastewater collected from the crush area, drains inside the floor that collect wash water from the tanks, floor washing, or spills within the production area. Floor areas should be sloped to ensure drainage into the fixed drainage system connecting to a holding tank. The sewage works design can vary from site to site, but could include a holding tank, a pretreatment unit, a treatment unit, and a septic bed. In addition, any residence on the parcel of land contributes to the overall sewage flow design capacity. This diagram is an example of a sewage works design. It shows all of the areas of sewage flows that we have seen during this inspection. These areas include the retail area, including all washrooms, kitchens, and dining areas. All drains flow to the septic tank. The production area and crush pad. All drains flow to the holding tank, then to a pretreatment cell, then to the septic tank. Any residents on the parcel of land, all drains flow directly to the septic tank. From the septic tank, wastewater and sewage flows to the treatment unit and then to the septic bed. Now let's go back inside and discuss the documentation you need to keep for your facility's sewage works. All right, let's uh, start by looking at your flow data here. Um, you have a certain flow to your bed. And if we look at this, it's all well under your volume per day. It's recorded each day. Right. That looks well within compliance. Whether you have a permit under the Ontario Building Code Act or an approval through the Ministry of the Environment and Climate Change, an environmental officer can visit your facility at any time. It is very important to keep proper records and documentation of the maintenance and inspection of your sewage works. During an inspection, we will ask to review the following documentation, depending on whether you have a permit or an approval. Inspection logs, maintenance records, pump-out records of holding or septic tanks, operational manuals, flow monitoring data records, monitoring analysis, complaint log and response, spill prevention and contingency plans, annual reports. The better you know your operation, the more prepared you will be for an inspection. This concludes a typical sewage wastewater inspection of a winery. Now that you know what to expect during a typical wastewater inspection, here are some tips to help you prepare for one. Know all aspects of your facility's operation. For example, where do all the drains discharge? Know which approvals and permits your business has or requires. Keep organized environmental records, such as flow monitoring and sample results, and keep them readily accessible. Know what consultants are doing on your behalf. Do your own self-assessment to monitor your facility's compliance. You can find out more about environmental approvals in your community by searching Access Environment online. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit the website.